Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE, General Test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You need it in order to practice for the exam. Do not waste your time and your money practicing the fake exams that are out on the market. Buy this book and practice on the real exam. It contains six real exams in it. Let's take a look at it. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 227. The tag that you want to use, the tag that, uh, that you want to uh, look for is uh, GRE-10E dash, dash for the 10th edition. Page number 227, quantitative comparison, number 7. These questions are called quantitative comparison, number 7. Let's take a look at it. This says, Jim is, Jim is three years older than Jonathan and Myra is five years older than Melissa. And finally, they tell you that Jonathan is two years older than Melissa. The reason I wrote down read down all of the three sentences is because there are two ways of solving these questions. One is what I call the classical way, the traditional way, the orthodox way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the proper way, the academic way, the way that makes your math teacher proud of you. And the other one is what I call the quick and dirty way. Quick and dirty way is where one makes up numbers for all the variables. The technique is called plugging in. You plug in numbers and you just work through the problem. But the condition is there is a but. That but is always there obviously. The condition is that one has to pay attention, obviously. No matter what technique one employs, one has to pay attention. So I'm going to, I'm going to first do the plugging in technique by making up numbers, and then I'm going to do the same problem in the classical way, in the traditional way, with the algebra. So let's do the non-traditional method first. You just make up numbers. James is three years older than Jonathan. Let's, let's, make, let's make Jonathan 10 years old. Therefore, Jim has to be 13. Based on the first statement, since I'm told that Jim is three years older than Jonathan, I substituted. You see, you only have a luxury of substituting, uh, plugging in for one person. When you, once, once you plug in a number for one person, the other person, of course, has to emerge from what is being said, obviously. For example, here, if I tell you that A equals B plus C, how many variables can one plug in for? The answer is not three. The answer is two. You can plug in for any of these two variables here. The third has to emerge from the, from the equation. For example, I cannot go around saying uh, 7 and 4 and 9. It won't work. Once I, tell, once I plug in 7 for A and 4 for B, C has to be 3. It's not a matter of choice. It's not a matter of choice. It has to be 3. For those of you, I'm, I don't want to freak anybody out, for, but those of you who are familiar, who, for, for whom uh, this is a very basic concept, very simple concept, and for, whom, uh, for, who, for those of you who are familiar with the basic concept of statistics, it has to do obviously with the number of uh, degrees of freedom. But anyway, we won't go there. We won't go there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just ignore what I just said. Let's continue here. Second thing I'm going to do is for the time being is that I'm going to ignore this part, the second statement, because this part has nothing to do with what I've done so far. Jonathan appears here and he appears here. So I'm going to, I'm going to take care of him right away. So Jonathan is 10 because I just substituted 10 for him there. And I'm told that Jonathan is two years older than Melissa. If Jonathan is 10 years and is two years older than Melissa, then Melissa would have to be eight. Now I have the value for Melissa. Once I have the value of Melissa, I put in here. You see how you have to do it? It's like a jigsaw puzzle. All the pieces have to fit together. And you have to pay attention there. So once I have the value for Melissa, I put it in here. And now I figure out what Myra would be. And I'm told that Myra is five years older than Melissa. Well, if Myra is five years older than Melissa, and if Melissa is eight, Myra better be 13. There you go. That's all. 
Now we are ready to look at the problem. What is it that they are asking? Oh, Jim's age versus Myra's age. Let's see, James. Well, there you go. Jim is 13. And it turns out that so is Myra. Answer is C. It turns out that so is Myra. That is assuming that I'm not butchering the pronunciation of the name. I hope that is I hope that is how the name is pronounced. Not that it matters, but anyway, the answer is C. Now let's do the same problem with the algebra. See what see what it works out to be. So we're going to do it here on this side of the blackboard. Let me look at the camera in the back, see how much time I have. I'll be back in about five seconds. I'm six minutes into it. I'm six minutes into it, so let's see what we can do here. The first step that says Jim is three years older than Jonathan. Jim, and since they both begin with the letter J, it's kind of uh, annoying. I can't use J for Jim because Jonathan starts also with J. So I'm going to use something that is different for both of them. Let's use M for John, uh, Jim. Okay, Jim, which is M. We are told that he's three years older than Jonathan. So that tells me that whatever Jonathan is, I'm, I'm using N for Jonathan. Because it has N in it. And M for Jim. Whatever Jonathan is, Jim is three more than that. And hence, 3 plus n would equal, equal m. That's the first equation. Second equation goes on to tell me that Myra, let's use y for Myra, y here for Myra, is 5 years older than Melissa. Let's use l for Melissa. And Myra, Myra's age is whatever Melissa's age is, and 5 more than that. Hence, 5 plus l, Melissa's age, 5 plus L would have to equal Myra's age, the Y. That's the second equation. Then we are told that Jonathan, which was N, is two years older than Melissa. Two years older than Melissa. There you go. These are the three equations that we have. And since I'm asked to compare Jim's age, Jim's age, which is M, versus Myra's age, which is Y, that's what I have to compare M and Y. That's what I'm going to do here. So the very first thing you should notice is that since I'm, since I'm asked to compare Jim's age, which is M, and Myra's age, which is Y, uh, Jim's age involves N. If I can somehow get rid of this N and express this L, N in terms of L, I'm all set, which is exactly what we're going to do from here. So I'm going to sort of use this equation, third equation, and put it in the first equation. Substitute substitute the third equation into the first equation and that gives me m equals 3 plus 2 plus l. See it is 2 plus l for n which means m equals 5 plus l which is exact, thing, exact same thing as Myra's age 5 plus l. There you go. Therefore m equals y as, as we found here. So there are two ways you can solve this problem, either with the algebra or with the plugging in. It makes no difference which technique you use, whichever techniques that you feel uh, uh, comfortable with. If you're conversant in algebra, if you're very good in algebra, if you're skilled in algebra, by all means do the algebra. But if by using the algebra you're going to muck it up, then don't, then, 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 then don't, don't touch the algebra. Just plug in numbers, make sure that, you, that you're paying attention and that's all it is. 70% of the people who took this exam got this question right, so it's not actually that bad. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face -face personal tutoring, I'm located in the state of Connecticut. I do most of, most of my tutoring in Connecticut, in Manhattan area, New York area, uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and so forth. Doesn't matter where you're located. If you're, if you're interested in working with me, send me an email. Or if you wish to buy the solution menus to these problems, in either case, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, -E gre.com and send me an email. All right? Thanks.